Welcome to 4D Technologies and our Revit Architecture 2011 tutorial series. I want to spend a few minutes to give you an overview of this course. I'll highlight some major aspects of the course, as well as some of the features of working with this tutorial series. We'll also take a look at the learning objectives, as well as the search and navigation capabilities so that you can find the exact content that you're looking for. Finally, I'll introduce you to the instructional team responsible for developing and delivering this course. In this tutorial series, you will learn about the building, information modeling features and functions of Revit Architecture 2011. We've divided the course into 28 logical chapters that you can take in sequence with a total of 420 lessons. You can also search to find individual lessons on specific topics you're interested in. The content is very granular, with lessons approximately four to six minutes in length that can be resequenced and reordered so that you can watch them at any time and in any sequence that you want. We've included concept lessons so that you can understand the topic before we actually present it. And we have demonstration lessons so that you can see how the software is actually being used. And we also include the data sets that the instructors use as part of their demonstrations. So if you have the Revit Architecture software, you can actually follow along and try the same examples the instructor has done on your own. After you have completed this entire course, you'll be able to model all of the elements that form the basis of a building model including the system family elements that form the building shell and core walls, floors, roofs, and so on. You'll also learn how to place other building components, such as doors and windows, and how to modify components to create your own custom components. You'll learn how to create views, such as plans, elevations, and sections, and place those views onto sheets, and how to control the appearance of those views, so that they look the way you want them to look to conform to your office standards. You'll learn how to add dimensions and constraints, and how to create reports and schedules. We'll also show you how to create your own custom family objects. And you'll learn how to use Revit's work sets, phasing, design options, and more. We've added additional searching capabilities with our keyword search. For example, if you type the word wall, the search results will show you all of the lessons related to creating and modifying interior walls, exterior walls, foundation walls, and so on. And for those of you who are coming from previous versions of Revit Architecture and you just want to learn about the new features in this release, by searching for 2011, new feature, or new features, you'll be directed to a list of lessons illustrating just the new functions and features added to Revit Architecture 2011. We have taken a team approach in developing the content for this course. My name is David Cohn. I'm pleased to have worked with Sean Burke in the development of this course. Sean will be your instructor for this Revit Architecture course. We began our initial research with Autodesk in developing this tutorial back in December of 2009. From there, we built this entire series of lessons from the ground up, grouping lessons and topics into chapters that take a logical and effective approach to learning Revit architecture. I am a licensed architect and practiced for 10 years before leaving to focus on CAD consulting, training, writing, and development. Sean is a digital design technology specialist and lead accredited professional with extensive experience in the architecture profession. He's considered a leading expert in building information modeling and recently joined the firm NBBJ. Between the two of us, we have more than 50 years of architecture experience. I personally have written 14 books on AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT and have published more than 300 magazine articles on AutoCAD and AutoCAD LT. Sean and I both present regularly at numerous events throughout the world, including Augie CAD Camps and Autodesk University. 
For more information about our other training products, visit us at www.cadlearning.com. I'm excited and glad that you've joined us in what I'm sure will be an educational and inspirational experience as you use our self-paced tutorial series.